Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making some Burmese styled grilled chicken. Um, so, very simple marinade, but I am going to be marinating these um, overnight. So I've just got in here about three tablespoons of fish sauce. Two cloves of grated garlic. Now I've got here a good tablespoon and a half of finely grated galangal. And that's an important ingredient in Burmese cooking. I've got here about a three centimetre little piece of turmeric that I've just grated. And this is optional, but I've just got half a teaspoon of dried chilli flakes and I'll just give that a little stir now today I'm going to be using just some chicken thighs uh, fillets that I've just basically just sort of cut in half so they're still fairly large pieces so I'll put those in and I've got about uh, 600 grams so yeah about a pound in the old money. So I can go in. We'll just give it a stir around. And once I've got this totally covered, I'm going to, ah, sorry, coated and mixed and stirred up in the uh, marinade. Then I'm going to cover it some cling fill and get it in the fridge overnight and I'll get it out and give it a couple of stirs now and then. Alrighty, I'll get back to you tomorrow. Alrighty, now before I grill my chicken, um, I'm going to make, to go with my chicken today, some sticky rice and I'll show you how I do that. I've um, yeah, I've got some water on the boil, just about on the boil here. Got my um, steamer there, steam. But what I do to make sticky rice is I get one of these, you know, kitchen wipey things, whatever you call them. Um, make sure it hasn't got scent or anything in it. Um, and preferably use a clean one, <laughs> like a new one. And I just whack it. Oh, that wind's coming through the window, but it's nice, but blowing everything around. So I just put it in my steamer like so, and sort of just bunch it around a bit, up the sides. And I'll get my sticky rice, which I actually uh, rinsed it, and I've had it soaking overnight, just in cool, cold water. So sticky rice, you know, a special sort of rice now. Some supermarkets, I'll just show you here, doesn't, it's not actually called sticky rice where I buy it, it's called white glutinous rice. But rest assured, that is sticky rice. So I've just got using about a cup because I'm only cooking enough for myself and that'll be plenty with leftovers. And what I do once I put my um, cloth in there is I sort mm. of just pack it up against the sides a bit. Not so much around the, the bottom. But... Like so. So I even push it right up against the edges a bit. So I'll get the lid on my steamer. That shouldn't take too long once it comes to a boil, maybe half an hour or so. <laughs> Alrighty. For those of you, some of you have seen some of my previous videos and um, you've been aware a few of my grilling recipes that I want to do outside have had to be aborted because of the weather conditions. Same today, it's, I can't light it outside. So I've probably done a really stupid thing here, but bugger it. I've put my grill on top of my oven stove <laughs> and 
We'll see how it goes. Alrighty, so as you saw, I've just cooked up my uh, Burmese grilled chicken. Um, my sticky rice has come together nicely. So, I don't know if you guys have eaten much sticky rice, but it sort of all pulls together really nicely like that. And you sort of just use it, instead of using bread, you just use bits of it and it's absolutely delicious. I don't know why we don't eat more of it. Um, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's nice. I've forgotten how nice it is actually. I haven't had it for a while. But yeah, like I say, the star of the show here is the uh, chicken. I'm just going to put a bit of juice on it. Lemon juice. Yum Let's just... And as you saw, I put a bit of fresh coriander on as well. Let's just see if we can see that up close. So it's worth doing it on the grill. You just get all that smoky, yummy flavour. I'm so glad I did that. Um, probably not recommend it for... Um, I probably shouldn't recommend it, but anyway, I'm glad I did it. Just remember guys, if you do that, bring your grill inside, turn your smoke alarm off. <laughs> it's a good tip. All right, let's taste it. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right. Look, seriously, that is just absolutely delicious. That long marinade, that grilling technique has just brought out some lovely flavours and I'll show you what I mean. Like you get a bit of a, you get a bit of your um, you know, sticky rice there, just sort of flatten it out and you sort of use it like a scoop but I'm not adept at that but that's what they would do in Burma. You just sort of get it like that, push it up like so. See if we'll focus. So it's like a sort of like a <laughs> an Asian style sandwich, really. Oh man. Mmm. 
I can't tell you how good that is. <laughs> but it takes them back to um, Burma, Myanmar, and. Mm. Alright, enough going on about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks to those who've subscribed to the channel. Um, you guys are awesome, you know that. And thanks for the interactions, like lots of comments and that. I really appreciate that as well. And um, I'm really enjoying um, interacting with some of you, which has sort of started a bit. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Get on board the train. <laughs> Who knows where we're going next? And I'll see you all next time.